Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, this video is going to be about van things. And I haven't done a video like this in a while. Like just kind of like tips and tricks and little stuff around my camp that you might be interested in, especially if you are a newer subscriber to my channel. Um, I include things like the Grandpa Gus mouse repellent. That was in yesterday's video. I got a lot of questions on it. So I tried to mention it like once a month or so in my videos, but I'm giving you a refresher on that. My shower, cooling towels, a tip for trash, showing you uh, my camp tables, just like a whole bunch of like random things. Um, and I got a bunch of sticker orders after yesterday's video, so thank you again. The, they are flying off the shelves, y'all, for sure. I'm just glad that everybody is as excited about the stickers as I am. So, purchase yours if you haven't yet, because I have a feeling they're going to be sold out soon, and I am sending a shipment out tomorrow. So, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Let's get into it. I have a van life tip for y'all regarding trash. So I've been using this collapsible trash bin for, I don't know, a couple years now, I think. So it is very flimsy. I mean, it's, it's collapsible, right? I don't have issues with odor uh, ever, which is nice. Um, this does the trick. It was $10 on Amazon back when I purchased it. I'm not sure how much they run now. You can also buy them at Walmart, but that's not the tip. So this is the Grandpa Gus mouse repellent that I use in my engine bay. Knock on wood, I've never had a mouse issue in my van. So I spray this once a week in my engine bay when I'm camping or when I get to a new camp whichever comes first really. So this stuff is amazing, but I also spray it in and around my trash can. And I have, last summer I had a raccoon, I think, get into my trash in Munns Park. And then after I sprayed this, I didn't have any issues. So this helps keep away bugs and rodents and all that good stuff. So I just spray it inside, kind of spray it outside a little bit and it keeps the critters away from my trash. Look at how pretty this barrel cactus is. <laughs> ADHD be like, distractions. Look at how pretty it is blooming. It's like mini pineapples, but they're not. So, but keeping to the theme of mice, and keeping rodents out of your engine bay. This is a new motion sensor light that Kara just bought for me. I I think the price tag on it said five or six dollars. It's from Five Below. It has a few different settings, but it's super, super bright and it's really good. So of course, as you can see, it's a solar light and it's excellent. So I've just been putting it under here or outside my van if I, or like around my van somewhere else if I need more light, but just another preventative measure, which, I mean, you can never have too many of those to keep the rodents away. Tomorrow is supposed to be 79 degrees, 30, or thir why did I just say thir Thursday? <laughs> it is going to be 86, and then it'll cool back down, but kind of abnormally warm. Thankfully, I have my cooling towel. So I actually have a set of four of these cooling towels. And what I do, they're mainly for Winston. So I will soak it and then with water, of course. And then I will put it in my fridge. So it stays especially cool. And I will, normally during the summer, it's typically not time for these yet. But I will just lay one down in his playpen. And he'll just sleep on it. Like it relieves him so much neither of us do well with the heat 79 tomorrow is honestly our limit but that's okay because we'll run all of our errands on the hottest day so we can be in the van in the air conditioning for a lot of the day but I love these cool cooling towels I got the four pack on Amazon the, the bags are starting to rip but it's whatever they are great and also very lightweight hi <laughs> Um, so I haven't talked about this table a lot, but I love this table. They are 
kind of hard to find depending on where you're at. So this is from Walmart. It is the Mainstays brand, which is the Walmart brand uh, in their home decor and office section. So, or furniture, I guess I should say. This folding table, what makes this one so great is it's not your standard 48 inch table. It's actually only 40. So it is 20 by 40. It has adjustable legs and it folds down so small that I can fit it right here next to my solar panels and it just kind of goes in my floor there. So I believe the price point is around $40, but it is so worth it. And what you can see right now is I can use it for my water, my cooking, all of those kitchen things, but it also works really nicely as a desk. It's perfect height, even with my camping chair. So I highly recommend, sometimes they're hard to find, like I said, if it's like a busier Walmart, because this size is so coveted, but it's great. And I do recommend trying to find one if you can. Today I'm wearing my I can't I'm doing van things shirt. And I'm sitting on the ground. My chair is empty as you can see. I'm eating a Greek veggie salad. Gary taught me about this. It's tomatoes, bell peppers, cucumbers, olives, and feta cheese. Tomatoes, olives, cucumbers, bell pepper, feta cheese. No dressing or anything. A little salt and pepper. Super healthy, full of superfoods. Mm. It's very tasty. I'm sitting on the ground. I saw this. So growing up, I always like to sit on the floor. And I remember like my sister used to make fun of me. <clears throat> And even now, like, I just like to, like, sit on the floor, like, at home. And I saw this reel on Instagram the other day that was talking about how uh, children end up being conditioned to stop sitting on the floor. And when you sit on the floor, it actually helps the mobility in your hips and your legs. And I was like, man... Children are conditioned to do a lot of things or get out of a lot of habits that are actually very healthy in the, in the long run, like sitting on the ground. <laughs> so I'm grounding, working on my mobility. And eating my salad. It's shower day. It's going to be a good day. I moved my table into the shade under my awning because it's warm today. It's gonna be even warmer tomorrow, but perfect day for showering. I have my water out. I won't need to heat it up at all because it's been sitting in the sun today. So later this afternoon after I've made my lunch and gotten all sweaty and gross, I can take a refreshing shower. I want to remind everybody of my shower system. I use this Wolf Eyes shower tent. Um, I've been using it for years and I just shower on my outdoor rug. So I'll stake it down on one corner on my rug and then I stake down the other corners outside of it. So I'm just on the edge, as you can see. And this is my shower. This is my preferred shower head because it's, it's just like one of the dishwasher, um, like that you have like on your sink, one of those. And so you control the water, it's nice and high pressure. And then the pump goes into the bucket. This is a five gallon collapsible bucket, but I'll put like two and a half gallons in there when I'm washing my hair. You clip the battery to the hose. So the pump brings the water up and I just hang it here and that's what I do. So when you get the standard shower heads, the problem with it is it constantly runs so the water is flowing and it's a massive waste. With this, you control it all, which is great. And then with the battery as well. So that's how I shower. Very easy. Keep the, don't try and hang up water or anything in this type of tent because you will collapse your tent. But it's nice and easy. Just figured I'd give a refresher for those who might be new 
to my channel. I also wanted to share my CD case. This is my hack for all of my electronic cords. I keep all my cords in here and I label them and some are just very general, but I am recharging like my vacuum, my Bluetooth, my mobile hotspot, or my external hotspot. I should say I'm charging all that stuff today, so I figured I'd give you guys a little refresher on that gem as well. My awning is homemade. It is a 4x6 tarp and three tarp poles, two to hold it up and one for tension. It's just held with bungees, and then I stake it down with some guidelines. I'm going to take it down this evening, but it's especially helpful on these warmer days. It, I'm taking it down this evening because Winston and I will be going into town tomorrow, and then we're supposed to have 20 mile per hour winds on Friday. But something else I like about the awning is I have this bungee that goes across the guidelines, and then I can use it as a clothesline and to dry my towels. <laughs> so... It takes me about 10 minutes to put up, a lot less than that to take down, but it's handy for a variety of uses. I even have my like my solar light hanging on it. It lights up my entire rug. It's pretty great. Are you enjoying your cooling towel? It's a good day for it. I frequently get asked if I leave up my camp when I go into town, for example, tomorrow when I need to go run errands, and I do typically. I pack up anything of value like solar panels, you know, stuff like that that's expensive or difficult to replace, but um, I do have Todd here with me. Even if I was alone, I would still leave like my chair and my rug and honestly my shower tent stuff like that. I generally camp in places that are very safe and people are respectful, so it's just not something I typically worry about. But I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.